I know you didn't. I've spoken to your teacher. Mr Pugh is not my teacher. He's a student teacher, which shows how much you know. But I thought you liked him. Not anymore. He has all these stupid ideas. Now, who's going to read their homework out to the class? <coughs> Be brave. No one will laugh. <laughs> Tracy Beaker. Miss Sharp never made us read our homework out. I can't read it. Why not? Um, my homework book got stolen. Tracy, who'd want to steal your homework? A dog. Really? And what did this dog look like, hmm? You! Tracy Beaker, come back here! Oh, what's what? I haven't time to mess around today. Tracy, I've got an interview. Come back to the office now. Must I? She has to eat. Tracy can eat all she likes once we've solved the mystery of the missing homework. But I did do it! Tracy, please. She did do it. Zach, really? You know that rhyme? Liar, liar, pants on fire. She did! I saw her! She did, didn't she? We all saw her. This isn't helping. She must learn to tell the truth. I am not a liar! No. Your problem is that you can't tell the difference between what's true and what you'd like to be true. If, if you wanted this to be a bar of chocolate, then that's what you'd say it was. And what's that? A bowl of strawberries and cream? Ah, ah, ah. Yes, Elaine. It was your fault. It's right! It was her fault. <sighs> it was an accident, Jenny, wasn't it? Apologise. But... Tracy, apologise. She... Apologise! I'm sorry, Duke, for wasting your soup. And Jenny, I'm really sorry for ruining lunch and everything. And who else would you like to apologise to? I'm really sorry, Elaine, that you are my social worker. And I'm really sorry that you are mean. Right, the quiet room now, and you will stay there until you say sorry to Elaine. No, I won't! I'll stay there till she apologises to me! If I was in trouble at school, I'd just tell my dad. He always sticks up for me. Well, we haven't all got a dad, all right? Tracy's got a mum. Except she's never around. Who she got to stick up for her? If we don't help her get this sorted, no one else will. It's Tracy's own stupid fault. She'd done her homework. She didn't have to lie about losing her book. But she did do it. What? You heard me tell Elaine. I thought you were just saying it. No, really. I saw her do it in the living room. Grown-ups never believe us. So what happened to it? The mystery of the disappearing homework. Well, you love writing, Tracy. Are you quite sure you did your homework? Yes, I did. But I didn't have my homework book to read out from, did I? But, Tracy, isn't this your homework book? No! <laughs> Tracy didn't do her homework, then Tracy didn't do her homework. End of argument. So I'll never get her to change her mind. Not unless you can show her Tracy's book with her homework in it. But we haven't got Tracy's book, have we? I have had a great idea. Justine, find Zach and Peter. Who put you in charge? I have to get it clean. I've got an interview. It's a possible promotion. What do they think if I turn up looking like this? I can't cope with children, that's what they'll think. And I can, Duke, I can. Of course you can. I'm very good with children. It's just... It's just that 
Tracy Beaker's not very good at being a child. Blaine, do you know you're very wet? <laughs> Does Tracy's homework book look like this? Yeah, but it's got your name on it. Not anymore, it hasn't. But it's got your homework in it. Not anymore, it hasn't. You are going to get in such big trouble for that. But she's going to get Tracy out of even bigger trouble. How? Because we're going to forge our homework. No, I am. My writing is most like hers, only mine's neater. OK, Zach, what was the questions Tracy had to answer for her homework? How long are you going to be in here, Tracy? It depends on Elaine. It might be years and years and years and years. But I don't care, cos I know in the end she'll come grovelling back. And will you forgive her? It depends how grovelly her grovel is. Think! I was sitting over there and Tracy was sitting here, right? No, she was over there. She wanted to be near a mirror. Oh, with her face. That's it! I remember the first question. She had to describe what she looked like. Yes! <sighs> Pardon? I said you were right. What happened to Tracy's homework is a mystery. I honestly believe that Tracy's telling the truth, that she did do her homework. Can't you just be a little bit easier on her? That would be disastrous. The golden rule of social work, Jenny, be consistent. All the books say so. What bothers me is why Tracy pretended her book was lost. Tracy doesn't just lie for the sake of it. Shouting doesn't help, Jenny. All I'm trying to say is that sometimes, Elaine, you can be so pig-headed, you shouldn't be let anywhere near kids like Tracy Beaker. Right, this, I have sticky-up black hair, where Tracy looked like I've seen a ghost. It's nice hair. A matchstick arms and legs a frog would be proud of. That's not fair. Oh, just right. I have an ordinary face. With little piggy eyes. That's not true. She's got shiny brown eyes. Have you been gazing into them? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll sort it. What were the other questions? I don't know. She never spoke to me after that. Not till she finished. What did she say? Ouch. Why? Because I threw a cushion at her. She started it. She threw a pencil case at the squatch that worksheet and me. Worksheet? Yeah. about your home and family. Who wants to write about the boring dumping ground? I wonder what Tracy would have put. Peter? Peter! What's the hurry, Peter? It's something important. A secret. Oh, I'm good with secrets. There's a big pile of flower pots in your shed. That's not a secret. I know that already. Tracy sometimes uses it as a place to hide things, and things she doesn't want anyone else to see. Ah. Oh. Don't tell Tracy that I told you. Told me what? Yeah, not bad at all. Will Elaine believe it? Well, didn't Tracy say that a dog stole her book? So? There are no teeth marks. There are now. Wouldn't a dog scrunch it up? I thought you wouldn't see this. It's Tracy's homework book. Look on the last bit. Oh. Perhaps 
I'd better talk to her. Tracy? Tracy? You've read it! You read my homework! You had no right! It was only Mr Pugh who was supposed to read it! <laughs> Did you think the class would laugh at you? I, I, I do understand, Tracy. You don't understand anything! You're a social worker! Bug off, Elaine! There's no need for me to describe myself to you for homework, Mr Pugh. I'm the one who makes you laugh, remember? I don't mind you laughing. You laugh because you think my jokes are good. Some people laugh at me because they think I'm strange. My mum never laughs at me, just smiles. She's smiling when she comes to pick me up from school. All the other kids are dead jealous. She smiles when we're in the garden. It's so big. I ride my pony without having to leave home or my mum. And if her friends invite her out, she says, no way, I just want to be at home with Tracy. The end. Elaine, look what we found. We solved the mystery of the disappearing homework. Tracy can come out now. You know you thought Tracy was lying? Sue so wanted to see Tracy's homework book. But I've just seen Tracy's book. Whose book is this? It's mine. It's a bit battered, isn't it? A dog stole it? Don't say a word until you've heard me out. I've always told you that if someone's in the wrong, then she should be prepared to admit it and say she's sorry. You can't make me! Tracy, I'm apologising to you. You did do your homework and I was wrong to call you a liar. And I'm sorry about the soup. Thank you. Oh, you've managed to sort out your differences then. I think so. Tracy now knows that the truth is very, very important. And you won't ever throw soup again. What about strawberries and cream? Where'd you stand on that? Just checking. Elaine, you better be getting off to your interview. Ooh. Don't worry about it. It looks fine. You look really nice, doesn't she? Elaine, I'd like to take this opportunity of saying how very, very nice you look. Oh. But, unfortunately, I can't. Why? Because I now know the truth is very, very important. 